Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of December in the areas of money, career and finance. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. I can't believe that we're already talking about December and obviously this has been a, a great journey so I want to express my gratitude for all of you who has been with me all uh, all this year and all of you as well who are seeing me uh, for the first time i'm very glad that you are here but let's see your reading we're gonna start uh, with your spirit animal oracle card and you have two cards that popped out while i was shuffling the cards number eight bobcat spirit life is a mystery and you also have the number 10 buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide so let's start with the bobs bobcat spirit uh, life is a mystery. So this is all about that um, not everything in your life can be explained uh, by um, intellect, by logic. Maybe you're going through something where, where that you cannot understand. It's like, why is this happening to me? What did I do? And, and uh, when this bobcat shows up in your uh, reading, you need to uh, <coughs> just go with the flow. Trust in the mystery. Trust that the universe will unveil you the secrets that you need to know at the time, at the right time, at the right place. So, so just go with the flow. Because you also have here the buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. It's an indication that, uh, like, you know, the universe, like uh, in, in the buff buffalo generally means, meant when, when uh, in the old days, uh, people were able to, uh, hunt them that they had they were able to take care of themselves for a long period of time this is a card that's indicating that long-term abundance is coming to you as well you need to trust the universe you need to align your thought process uh, with the greater good indicating that you need to focus on positivity you need to focus on um, all the great things uh, gratefulness and, and positive thinking in your life because that's going to help you to achieve um, a future that's going to be there for you on the long run and provide you uh, abundant abundance. Um, so definitely embrace that, embrace the mystery of uh, what you're, you're going through and trust that you're going uh, you're gonna to get to a time that everything's going to be better. But let's see what we have here for you uh, in the tarot. In the center of your reading, you do have the Six of Wands, which is a beautiful energy of success, celebration, joy, and victory, um, or being in the center of the attention. Whenever this card comes up, you can expect that you're going to be super successful, something that you worked for, uh, something that you put a lot of effort into, something that you battled for. You're the, the one who's coming out as victorious so if you're trying to apply for a job or if you're trying to go for uh, uh, some kind of uh, a promotion or a business deal uh, this card is a great indicator that you're going to be super successful there's also a card not just success but you you might be in the center of uh, the attention as well a lot of people are paying attention to you a lot of people might be interested working with you uh, so so there's definitely great indication that all eyes are on you but let's see what we have for you um, the first card of your reading is the ten of swords now this is covering the past indicating that you went through some difficult endings some difficult changes uh, ten is indicating an end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one and the ten of swords is not an easy one it's a painful one something where you kind of feel some of you might be feeling betrayed some of you might be feeling stabbed in the back <clears throat> definitely connected to can be connected to end of a business end of an employment end of a, a, a really bad end of a project of some sort where things just you just don't feel that anything was working out for you but this is kind of like when you hit rock bottom and the only way is up here uh, this is a blessing for you some of you might not seeing yet but but actually uh, like generally this card is indicating that this ending is a blessing of uh, some sort and also indicating that a new dawn is uh, beginning for you uh, of uh, some kind of a great opportunity and you also have here the 
beautiful ace of pentacles uh, all the aces indicate a new chapter in our life a new beginning a new opportunity this is the golden opportunity that you need to hold on to with both hands uh, can be an indication of a new job a new promotion a new business opportunity uh, or it can be also an investment opportunity that you need to take you need to consider you need to nurture it because if you do that it's going to bring you long-term stability long-term abundance the next card of your reading is the lovers the lovers which is the card of love attraction which is also a card of great partnership harmony uh, and and balance um, definitely can be uh, uh, um, an indication of a great partnership it can be a good employment it can be also a great business partnership of some sort where uh, similar people come together and they have a great attraction and 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 both of them are taking uh, part of all of the things that they have to do all the positives and all the negatives they share uh, all the happiness and the burdens as well but this card can also be connected to a major decision a major decision that some of you need to make this period of uh, your life and the next card of your reading is the five of pentacles Five of Pentacles is the card of um, loss, the card of sadness, the card of feeling lack, the f card of feeling left out in the cold, not being enough. So some of you uh, might have lost your job, uh, especially with the combination of the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Definitely connected to that. Can be also connected to unemployment in the sense that maybe you've been looking for a long period of time and you have hard time uh, finding something because the market is not, not great. Um, this is a card that's also so telling you that don't be afraid to ask for help because help is available. But this is a, a card of lack as well. When you're focusing uh, on um, what you don't have, uh, when you're focusing on uh, negative thoughts that uh, self-sabotaging that you're not enough you don't uh, you're not gonna get it um, that's kind of um, a thought process um, can be also connected to financial challenges but what's really important with the five of pentacles is to turn around the thought process you have to turn around and 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 not fo don't focus on what you don't have focus on all the great things that you have little things small things that you woke up you have uh, you have a home you have a family you have friends uh, whatever you are grateful focus on all of that and uh, and and the more grateful you are the better things you're going to attract you're going to attract this success and happiness what the six of wands is bringing you now i also have here the tower the tower which is a card of sudden change quick sudden change upheaval that came into your life now obviously if some of you uh, went through like maybe your, your your company or your organization went through some kind of a restructuring and some of you might have lost your job um, that's the kind of energy of the tower this quick sudden change that you're not expecting comes out of the blue uh, but um, generally the tower happens uh, in, 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 in our life in a situation when we didn't make some certain decisions. We, when we stayed way too long in a position, in a project, in a, in a company or in an industry uh, that's no longer serving us. That's, you should have kind of made that decision long ago. Um, definitely can be connected to changing a mindset as well when you're, you're, you are uh, kind of building your life up because whatever you had in the past kind of crumbled right in front of your eyes but again you need to think about it that yes uh, the tower the backstabbing the job loss or the business loss or whatever you've been through uh, might not have been uh, a great experience but it is happening for you to uncover something um, and again um, you might be feeling that okay why me what's happening with this mystery card uh, but focus on the uh, uh, the buffalo which is all about long-term abundance and and indicating that the universe will take care of you so so just trust the universe and and focus on those uh, gratitude 
But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the reading helped you. And you can also help me to grow this channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most for you. It is only costing a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, only a very few percent of people end up subscribing. So I hope you're going to be one of them. And I'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with you. So let's continue. Your reading continues with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is the card of planning and decision. Generally, it comes up when you kind of know that there's way more for you to discover than where you are right now. The whole world is in front of you and you're kind of yearning to get out and discover it. So you're kind of making plans, uh, but something in your current life is holding you back. Maybe the current business you're in, maybe a company, maybe there's some people that you enjoy working with, maybe you're afraid that you know, you're not going to make the amount of money that you're making right now. But anyway, this is a card of planning, planning ahead. Uh, some of you might be uh, for thinking about starting your own business or you are kind of looking for a job. Uh, it can be also connected to a decision, a decision that you have to make. Um, maybe you need to choose between two options. Maybe you have two opportunities because with this six of wands, you might be attracting a lot of attention and maybe you need to choose uh, between two options. Some of you need to choose between a new opportunity or an old one, or uh, some of you uh, need to kind of um, maybe decide whether you want to go down on a brand new path or not maybe like starting your own business um, but the next card we have here you is it's quite telling in a sense that it's the eight of cups eight of cups is turning your back to something turning your back to something something that was important something that was dear for you something that was meant a lot for you but no longer um, because it's not the same it's not providing you the happiness, the enjoyment, uh, the satisfaction that it used to. This can be a business, a project, a job, a company, um, or any anything from that nature. And she is kind of going on this new path, following her passions, following her intuition, um, because she wants to find her true happiness. And the next card in your reading is the Two of Swords. So Two of Swords is the card of indecision. Um, generally appears when you have hard time ma making a decision, choosing between two options, um, and, and you're kind of going back and forth, although deep down you know what is the right decision. You have quite a Car, so uh, quite an amount of cards here that are talking about decision. This is talking about a major decision. This is talking about the indecision and this is talking about a decision. So there's definitely a big decision for you to make here that I think is going to, at the end of the day, all of them are connecting to the success. So if you're going to make this decision, you're going to be able to achieve some success that I don't think you are expecting uh, right now. Um, Two of Swords also can be that maybe there's a third option that you need to choose from. Uh, so um, take it as it, as it, as it resonates uh, with your life. Um, but one thing I want to kind of call your attention to as well. So if you haven't gone through the, any kind of job loss or restructuring, uh, if you keep not making a decision, the universe will definitely make this decision for you. It's also very interesting that this period of time, November, December, uh, the two of swords and the two of wands uh, seems to come up quite often with each other or even with the two of pentacles. So, so there's definitely some decision time. And oh, well, here's the two of pentacles. Um, so <laughs> two of pentacles is all about balancing something. Um, being balancing your finances, balancing your resources, um, balancing projects as well. And so, so there's something uh, that you need to balance this period of time. Um, also for me, the, the Two of Pentacles kind of uh, gives me this feeling of up and down, up and down, but also gives you the, opportunity, the, unli the uh, unlimited op options as well. 
Uh, and 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 what's also interesting when you look at the numbers, like you have the two of wands, the two of swords, the two of pentacles, two two two. It's it's a very um, auspicious angel number. Maybe this is something that you you've been seeing. Maybe this is something uh, that you are um, you're gonna see this period of time. Uh, definitely. Uh, uh, consider what you're feeling what you're thinking when you are seeing it because uh, generally it shows up when you're on the verge of a new chapter in your life and when you might need some kind of a reassurance that you're on the right path so yes this is kind of telling you that you are on the right path and you need to trust um, your inner guidance uh, but but you know two 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 is is, is definitely connected to partnership or cooperation uh, with somebody which definitely shows up here with the lovers so so maybe uh, there's uh, some kind of uh, a partnership that you uh, need to uh, pursue but but generally like you know this is a, a message of balance trust and faith and and uh, and also that you need to maintain a positive mindset uh, because there's some kind of a manifestation is in progress, which we talked about here uh, with the Buffalo spirit. So keep up the positive thinking and put it in a comment that I release all of my fears and negativity and uh, I attract uh, gratitude and abundance. So that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.